What's up, guys? Welcome back to another week in freight where I'm going to cover the nation and find the freight. And, guys, if you can find the high freight volume areas, you're going to find the high freight volume rates. Uh, my trick is DAT load board. Uh, Trucker's Edge Pro is what I use. And where I like to start is the in and out ratios, like Alabama, for example, showing 311 loads going in or trucks going in versus. 455 needed to come out so that right there tells you there's more loads in alabama than trucks going in so that little offset ratio gives you the favor when going into these areas or arizona is looking good california looking real good so uh, i hope you guys had a good fourth of july weekend and uh looking at this right here it's all looking good looking pretty good but the real nuts and bolts of these videos is right here in this right here and what i want to do is i'm gonna go around the nation and i'm looking for high freight volumes uh, you want to go in the areas as high freight volumes when booking a load always remember your most important load is not the load you're booking now but your next load that way you always set yourself up to be in a market with a lot of freight like you see a good load going to the middle of nowhere it's paying good but once once you get there there's not a lot of freight so you might have to end up bouncing you know a couple hundred miles out to get a load now if it makes sense it makes sense i'm not saying don't do it i do it all the time uh but it's got to make sense going in and just be ready to bounce coming out don't sit around waiting um a day or two waiting on a load to pop because uh, that time is revenue you can never get back i'd rather just bounce out um three four hundred miles go to a a good freight hub and pick up and keep rolling that way you're going to turn more profit by the end of the week and in the month and year and so forth but if you sit around just waiting all the time that's that's profit you can't get back anyways guys what i'll do here is i'm going to start in los angeles and then go around to the the different freight hubs around the country and this is what i do when i get ready to go trucking i i, I sit down here and i look at all the freight hubs around the country and what i mean by freight hubs is cities that produce a lot of freight either going in or coming out like los angeles atlanta all the big cities really and um, it gives me an idea of where the market's hot and where i need to focus on putting my truck if the midwest is hot then i'm going to go to the midwest but doing this i'm going to see whether or not the midwest is hot or do i just need to go across country and get some of those big money loads either way this is how i do it and if you like what i'm about to show you in the description there is a link for dat trucker's edge and you can click that link and try it out for uh, 30 days free uh, and that, along with that link there's other links down there of the make sense keys to authority all the things that i use and stand profitable with my authority from fuel cards to uh, tire accounts and such uh, it's all down there guys go check it out it helps me stay profitable and uh, gives me all the benefits of being leased onto a, a big carrier such as landstar or bennett you know whatnot with fuel cards and uh, tire savings anyways guys let's dig in today is the day after the fourth of july again i hope you guys had a good uh, boom boom day it was a good uh, independence day for uh, me and the family and uh, we bought so many fireworks i kind of got tired of shooting fireworks before i got done shooting fireworks so therefore i got a lot of fire fireworks left over meaning meaning i'm going to be a menace to my neighborhood throughout the year <laughs> all right guys let's dive on in and, and see what these markets are looking like and i try to speed this up and make it go fast um right now in the los angeles market today oh look i'm on power only let me let me change this whoa, 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 whoa. that's power only so if you're looking for power only yep there you go there's a lot of power only out there <laughs> where is my standard van i think i'm in specific let's go to general Ah, oh, come on general stay general it ain't gonna let me let's see fan vented i just need a standard van where you at van and van air rod all right that'll work so los angeles today has 1200 loads and there you go power only guys there's more power only than the spot market freight for your own stuff anyway what i'm looking at is this volume right here it lets me know how much freight is there in a 120 mile radius that's why i always go 120 miles gives you you know within a few hours you can get there especially in los angeles uh you might need about six <laughs> just saying um right here is what i like to do 
I like to click the offer rate. This gives you a lot of inf quick instant information. Like this right here is the brokers throwing offers out there. They're offering for you to move this load for $7,400. Now, you see right here when I click on each one of these to the right of the screen, it highlights different information. We're gonna go by this one, for example. And this gives you the 15 day average. That load's on average been going for 7,900 bucks. Now there's a low and there's a high, but when you get the average, the medium, this is it. So I always try to shoot a couple hundred dollars above this rate and uh, keep you uh, in the knowledge, in the know of what these brokers are seeing. This is the same tools that the brokers use. They see this, they see this stuff. Actually, they see this stuff all the way down to the one day average, the three day average, seven day average. Uh, but you know, to get those tools, that's a, it's a lot more money to come out of pocket. But I do pretty well with these right here, and it shows you basically what they what they what the loads are doing. So there's quite a bit of freight in Los Angeles. I've seen it a lot better. Let's see what this right here is going for. That's a good lane. I like this lane. And my slow net don't want to work. Let's try another one. All right, see, so 4,700 bucks. That load's been averaging 5,100. So you call the broker, and the broker says, "Yeah, I got good money on it. It's 4,700 bucks." You say, "Well, I'm looking at the average right here, and that load's been averaging about 270 to 28, 270 to three dollars a mile. I'm going to need say 5,400 bucks on it." And if they say no, say, "All right, well, get with the, get, get with them, and if they approve it, call me back. Get off the phone, start looking for another load." And uh, my little game is I always try to book another load before they get a chance to call me back, just so I can say. You snooze, you lose, buddy. Uh, I'm on another load. See you, bye. <laughs> That's just my own personal thing. Let's go up to the Tracy area, NorCal. See what's up there. Oh, wrong one. And we're gonna bump this up to about 200 just to get to Sacramento and all the Bay Area and all in between. That's gonna come in. 473 exact loads this right here just means outside that 100 or that 200 mile radius there's a lot more freight but within the 200 mile spec there's 470 and let's see what these rates are going for here's one all the way over to new york and 75 so what that's been offered nope nope don't make sense guys here's a little pro tip if you're in norcal and you're looking to bounce and go back east uh grab you a short load going down to the la market and then in the LA market, grab you a load and then go east. You're gonna make more money that way. So let's go up to Seattle, Washington. See what they got. Forty-six exact load. So not a lot of freight up there. Let's shoot down to the Kansas City market. Kansas City, what you got? 207. So what kind of offers y'all got? 5,800 to Washington. Yeah, that's paying really good to go up to Washington. Why? Because there's no freight up there. Hey, some loads out there, guys. You just gotta dig for them. Uh, let's see. Let's go to St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis coming in with 382. So getting a little better, which that's normal. Normally the trend. It's always getting a little better once you get back to, from Kansas City to St. Louis. Uh, that's 382. So decent. Not a lot. Not a ton, but decent. Let's shoot down to the Dallas market. Dallas, Texas. My next load's going to Dallas. 593 loads in the Dallas market, so decent, decent. A lot of people out there are saying that the freight sucks, the rates suck, everything sucks. But I'm gonna tell you, the guy saying that wasn't in this market two and a half years ago, because used to, this right here used to, on the Dallas market, used to stay around two to 250 loads. And these averages, these offers were nowhere near this price. Like this one right here, 258 a mile for 2200 miles, long miles. That used to be about $1.70. So don't get trapped by these guys saying the market stinks. Um, chances are the guys came in in the last year, year and a half, and they came in in the industry high, and uh, it's starting to go down a little bit. Let's go down to the Houston. 
Houston Valley, Houston, Texas. What you got? 413 exact load. So there's some freight down there. Let's look at these offers, see what's high on the board. 6100 to Seattle. All these loads of Seattle are paying good because there ain't no freight up there. Let's keep that in mind, guys. It, might look, it looks great going in, but once you get up there, you might be uh, you might be stuck. Same with uh, this, like this Wyoming right here. I'd be, I'd be more apt to jump on this load right here for 3600 bucks. Uh, and they're actually paying above average. See that right there is averaging right there almost $3 a mile and they're paying a few hundred over average. So I'd be interested in this right here. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Houston, let's shoot over to Atlanta. We're gonna cover the southeast and work our way up to the northern sea, ugh, eastern seaboard and then finish out in the Midwest and see what that's looking like as well. So Atlanta's coming in with 880 loads. And uh, <laughs> something about these Washington loads right here, six grand. California, 4,600. It's been averaging 48. So stick to your guns on there right there and uh, you can get it. Chattanooga to Allentown, ooh, I love this lane. They're wanting 3,600 bucks on that load and it's been averaging 24. Nice. But with that rate right there, that's almost good enough to dead, or load up and deadhead back. All right, let's check out Savannah, check out the ports. Savannah ports, Port Wentworth, all that good area. 388, another pro tip guys, if you find yourself going down into Florida, we all know Florida pays well. Um, you get down to Florida, you don't see nothing decent. Just dead head back up to uh, the Savannah market, Jacksonville, Savannah. Um, you usually get up that way and get you a decent load going back to the Midwest, North, or West, whichever you prefer. But I guarantee you this, if you're looking at a load in, say, Orlando, and that load in Orlando is going to Dallas, you might get a dollar twenty on it <laughs> in Orlando. But you did head up to Atlanta, and you can grab that same load for 2 or $3 a mile. And uh, just a little deadhead lessens the loaded miles as well, wear, less wear and tear on your vehicle. What am I saying? Less wear and tear on your equipment. And uh, it just makes sense. You're going to make more money at the end of the trip, usually a less headache. So Savannah's looking good. Let's shoot up to Richmond. Four hundred twenty-one exact loads in the Richmond market. That's good, 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 good. There's another Washington. Let's shoot over to Nashville. I about forgot Nashville. But a lot of people's always wanting me. Why, why don't you cover Nashville? Well, it kind of always slips my mind. Four forty-six in the Nashville market, looking good. There you go, Vlox. There's you some freight, brother. Uh, which you know, you're up, you, you're watching it. Knoxville coming in, 571 loads in the Knoxville market, which is good. Let's see these offers. Y'all see that one load? I think it's right here. Dalton to Fort Lauderdale, $3,200. It's been averaging two twenty four twenty five, but that's good freight right there. I don't know what the mileage rate is on that right there, if you want to calculate it, 32 into 734 miles. Uh, I'd say four and a half, maybe. Maybe close to five dollars, I don't know. Load's paying good. Let's shoot up to, oh, where do we all go? Let's go to New York. New York, New York, do 120 miles. That's gonna get Allentown and all of Jersey and all that stuff. So 577 loads up there, which is kind of weak, but also it is four o'clock p.m. So there you go with that. Let's shoot over to Columbus. Columbus, Ohio, what you got? Columbus is usually strong. 619 loads, that could be a little better. That's, a, that's quite a bit of freight. You're gonna be able to find a load, that's for sure. Let's shoot down to the Cincy market. Then check out Michigan, uh, 
since he's coming in with 742 loads let's check out these offers 55 Oregon Washington Washington Miami look at this 4500 down to Miami that load's been averaging 301. Landstar's got it for 45. Good stuff. Let's shoot up to the Detroit market. Detroit's coming in with 284. Not bad. Let's shoot down to the Indy market. Eight hundred and two loads, not too shabby. Indianapolis, eight hundred and two loads. Let's shoot up to the St. Paul, Minneapolis area. Then we will finish this out with Chicago and see what they're reeling in. Seventy-eight loads. Ah, eh, there's. Yeah. Be sure you got a good paying load going up there, cause seventy-eight loads ain't very promising. El Paso, Texas. That's a long run. The long run, and they're they're under they're under. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this out at Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. What you coming in with? Say 1,200. Oh man, 941 loads, which is low, which is low. I've seen that. At, I went to four and five thousand loads before. Pretty nice. But they do got some good paying stuff. This don't make sense because you can get that same rate way down here, which I don't know. That's 1,100 miles. Yeah, don't make sense. All right, guys. If you're still hanging around, I appreciate it. Give me a big old thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. <coughs> Excuse me. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. I put out videos on the normal, all things trucking. Until that next video, guys, see you. Bye.